welcome, welcome to Jermaine on Natural. I am Jermaine Ryan, and um, it is Thanksgiving. And remember that any pop-up videos that happen above are always linked down below. So I am on the road to get my hair done for this evening. <laughs> I also need to get look, just get in here, get this hair done, get back home because I got these pants of peach cobbler I got to throw down on. Doing something with my hair, kind of tying it to the Switch It Up Challenge by Bianca Renee. What's up to my big sister? I'm gonna be applying a little bit of heat, a little. <laughs> So does it, it definitely doesn't work with the no heat challenge from she, that she did a couple of years ago, but I feel like this won't be a regular thing for me. It'll, we're just going to see how it works. So of course I did, hold on, let me show y'all. So of course I did, because I am applying heat, uh, I brought my Agile Beauty Blue Tansy line things with me. Uh, since they do have that strengthening and they do have, uh, they are designed for um, particularly the leave-in and the serum for heat. Minimize to little any damage that may occur, but I am going to see, you know, my guy Jeff. All of his information will also be linked down below. The shop, his uh, Instagram, everything will be there. Jeff does hair, honey. So, of course, I'm going to see my guy to get my uh, trim, which I am about a month overdue for it's been six months officially so as you can hear it is quite rainy out so um let me go ahead and get off this thing and focus on driving which i'm doing anyway mostly and um fortunately there's nobody on the roads either um but let me go ahead and focus on driving safely and uh i'll come back once i get into shop all right all right i'm here <laughs> this is gonna be a mess i got products i got this umbrella all right, let's run in. Air Studios. All right. Hi. Hi. It's the fashions for me. Oh, look how cute this little crop is. So cute. So cute. Ooh. JF, I pulled up like it look real dark. <laughs> I'm like, I hope he ain't forget about me. No, no. <laughs> uh, Good morning. I was gonna text you to tell you to bring us stuff. So I don't have to use mine. <laughs> cool. Cause everybody like everybody they they specifically about what kind of project. Well, I mean, you, I've, you know, you used design, design essentials the last time, and I've used that, had that used before, so okay. it was fine. But now you natural, and it is raining outside. Ah, yes, yes. I feel like we're getting ready to have a conversation. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm vlogging, right? I mean, it's gonna be very humid today, so. <laughs> Sit right here. We about to have a conversation about natural hair, this humidity, and what I'm about to do. Yep. <laughs> Jeff. Hey. I'm going to record this part. Okay. <laughs> Saw this silk press. <laughs> there is a very particular video that I have in mind that I saw. It was on Instagram. It went around for a little bit. Mm -hmm. It was a guy, I think his girlfriend was doing this hair mm -hmm. and she like curled and bumped them in and he looked <laughs> like somebody's auntie. I don't want to be that. Oh, no, I, no. I'm going to stick you out. I'm, I ain't going to be bold like that. I, I don't want the, the, the bouffant. No, no. Oh. It's supposed to be straight. It's not supposed to happen. <laughs> I mean, you know, the body was everything. The hair was laid. It was moving. But I mean, he looked like his name could have been, you know, Doritha or. <laughs> Miss Odessa. Miss Odessa. Yeah. I actually have a cousin named Odessa <laughs> from Memphis, honey. So this is your first, your first time like getting impressed. Yes. Oh. Okay. Ever like I've blown it out a couple of times, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I've never gotten my hair pressed before. Well, I'm take care of it. I, I believe it. 
You know, I, I listen. I am fortunate that I have a friend that does hair <laughs> and that I trust. Mm -hmm. So, again, check out his Instagram. Just Link down it. below. <laughs> <laughs>375 is what it says. Uh -huh. Are you doing hotter than that? Um, likely because you have thick hair, mm -hmm. and I'm using some titanium plates. Ooh. Yeah. Yep. So I'm gonna, once before I uh, straighten your hair, I'm gonna put uh, some um, heat protectant on. Yep. Exciting. And that heat protectant goes up to like 450. Nice. And that's also the the temperature I'm applying. That's the, the temperature I'm using. Okay. Come on over. So spending the day, oh, so immediately after you leave here, you said that you're doing what? Spending time with my goddaughter. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> no. That actually was pretty easy. What? Like that set, like you detangled that section? Yeah. But now I'm playing about, about here now. <laughs> and then I'm also doing like a stretch and kind of, uh, uh, of trying to make sure everything gets dry. Mm -hmm. so I'm, as I'm drawing heat through your hair, I'm also stretching your curl pattern out. So I can kind okay. of uh, dry between because your hair holds a lot of water. From how my hair used to be, mm -hmm. it, it's the my porosity is definitely a lot different. It's normal now, from how it feels, and I don't lose moisture really quickly out of my hair at all. At least that's how it feels to me. Now you're the professional, so you can tell me if I'm if my assessment is off. No, it's not off. It's right. <laughs> it's right. It's absolutely right. One thing I did want to know is, um, what are my strands? Like, are they, do I have thin strands or are they? I will say, uh, with your hair was, your hair is thick, but I could tell at some point it was thicker. But you got some, you got some coarse hair, but it's just it's not like a soft hair. Mm -hmm. Years and years ago, I had this weird bug. It wasn't a cold, it wasn't the flu, it was somewhere in the middle. Uh -huh. and went to the doctor, urgent care, and they gave me some medication, and that medication 
that, that medication really messed me, me up. Oh, wow. Pre very particularly my hair. Like, my hair was falling out, literally. I mean, I would wash my hair. And I mean, you know, this is when I was getting my hair cut. Yeah. Um, and I would just wash my hair. And I mean, it would be clumps of hair that would be coming out of my head. And um, I went to my barber and um, after I was done with the medication and I let my hair grow out a little bit and then he, um, he cut it and he was like, what happened to your hair? And he was like, your hair texture is entirely different from what, and he had been my barber for years. It did, it, it like it came from taking that medication. Yeah. Cause some stuff kind of changes when you want med uh, specific medications. It, it your your hormones and then your pH balance. And your pH balance also is also in your hair as well. Mm -hmm. Everything changes. So if something so if something changes the natural pH in your body, then you gonna have a uh, you gonna have an adverse reaction to it, and your reaction is your hair. Mm. Chemistry is something else. I it is. <laughs>
since Thanksgiving Day when I got this done and um, I'm maintaining it. I'm maintaining it. As you can see, I've got my bun or what some people like to call a man bun. It's a bun. So Thanksgiving night, right? Uh, so we're having the family thing and you know, I was kind of layered. I had on a t-shirt, a long sleeve shirt and a sweater. And I did dance a little bit and I um, I did sweat a little on my scalp. And next thing you know, by the end of the night, I was looking like Posh Spice in the uh, Say You'll Be There video. <laughs> I literally sweated right in the crown. It drew in. The front was still long. Why did I end up with an asymmetric bob? <laughs> so what I did do is that I did, um, I do have some flat irons here at the house. Um, I do have some heat protectant. So I did do some heat protectant uh, just on the roots, just in the middle there. I did brush it through. Um, I didn't have it up the highest, but just enough to straighten it out some. And I only had to do that that one time. It's been maintaining since then. And since then, it has been in various buns and ponytails, all high and low. And if you're on Bianca Renee's live the other day, a little to the side. <laughs> I'm over it though. I'm, I'm over having to get up in the morning and like, even though I have a pineapple at night, like brush it so that it's like smooth and it, I'm over it. <laughs> but I do want to show you all at least what it looks like to date. All right, so here it is. Here's how it looks. It's got, it's got some movement in it still, a little bit, <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, you can't call me Tessica, it does move. All right, so let me do a quick 360. It's fluffy, it's super fluffy. Wait, did it move? I don't know if it did. I'll have to see when I watch it back. <laughs> so anyway, I did want to go ahead and close this video out uh, because it would have been weird if it would have just ended with me being in the car with a scarf on my head. And also, if you follow me on Instagram, which you should be, Jermaine All Natural, then you would have seen, I believe in my stories where I posted my look for the day. I think that I did. All right, so again, Jeff's information will be linked all down below if you are in Michigan. Okay, make sure that you like this video. Press the subscribe button. It's the red one down there. It's the red subscribe button. Go ahead and press it so that you feel free to share this out as it is a vlog. Um, somebody might want to see it. I don't know who, but somebody might. <laughs> Punch the notification bell so that you can stay of when I post my videos. And again, thank you for tuning in to Jermaine on Natural, and I'll see you in the next one.